We take the job of acting for granted sometimes. Sure, they make a lot of money for being characters, but that's not always an easy task. The binger knows that not every role is made equal. With that in mind, we're here to count down some of the top actors who managed to get in serious shape for their roles. To be fair, Chris Hemsworth wasn't working his way up from scratch. The guy had a six-pack without any real effort. Pretty cut. The transformation we're looking at relates specifically to his role as Thor. I am mighty. Playing the God of Thunder takes a few things. There was no doubt in any fan's mind that Hemsworth was going to pull off the golden locks. It was the bulk that was questionable. It's safe to say all doubters were proven wrong the minute they saw this transformation. Seriously, he went from skinny and fit to major bulk. There's no other way to put it. Chris Hemsworth literally changed his body type for the role. Sure, Mickey Rourke is an iconic tough guy. No one ever expected him not to fit that role. But as he aged, it became harder and harder to get back into shape. Lucky for Rourke, the role of Randy the Ram Robinson allowed him to justify a different physique. After all, the character is a washed-up wrestler. His body needed to reflect years of in-ring abuse and out-of-ring substance issues. He managed to get in shape in the strictest sense possible. Rourke was already fit, but he needed to fit the wrestler mold. He focused on key areas of his body to shape himself into the exact representation that the audience is expected. It was an impeccable transformation. Look, if Sarah Connor was going to prepare for Doomsday, she wouldn't look like the casual waitress that she was in the first Terminator. Hence the huge transformation for Linda Hamilton. Seriously, she went from a normal everyday look to ripped like it was nothing. But we don't want it to seem as if it was nothing. None of these actors simply wished themselves into a new body type. Hamilton worked for that look. It paid off, big time. She was supposed to be waging a one-woman war against Skynet. It made sense that she'd get in peak physical condition. It wasn't mandatory for the role, but it certainly helped viewers buy into the story as time passed. It's safe to say Hamilton really earned her spot on this list. Zoe Saldana is always a force to be reckoned with on any action set. It's why fans love her as Gamora. However, many people tend to overlook the need for an in-shape body to play that role. Think about it, Gamora is the most active member of the Guardians in those first two films. She is jumping, leaping, and running into every single fight. She is agile and strong. Sure, Saldana was already all of these things and more, but the role called for her to appear superhuman. It took a crazy workout regimen to get her to that point. Can you imagine being the person in charge of training Zoe Saldana for her role as Gamora? Odds are you didn't need to do much to motivate her. There was a time when Michael B. Jordan wasn't buff. He was in shape, but not in serious shape. The role that launched him into another atmosphere of fitness was Adonis Creed. Lucky for everyone involved, Jordan was up to the task of getting in shape for the role. His workout routine for that film is so notorious that everyday people are trying to copy it. That's Tom Brady levels of fitness guru. No kidding. If you knew the secret to getting into the same physique as Adonis Creed, you'd take that route. Seriously, wouldn't you? Hilary Swank's quest for fitness is a great way to follow up our last entry. To be honest, the two actors followed similar paths to get fit. The best part is, both of their efforts were rewarded by critics and audiences alike. In Swank's case, she was tasked with filling the complex character Maggie Fitzgerald with some life. She pulled it off with extra dimensions that many didn't see coming. Still, a lot of that had to do with how Swank pushed herself to get into a boxer build. We can't underestimate this. Getting in shape to become a boxer is difficult. It takes a lot of work and a lot of endurance to pull off that body Type. Swank needed months to prep to get into that role. On top of that, she needed to feel comfortable in the ring. All of that work paid off in the end, but it's important to remember that she didn't take the easy road to get there. No need to worry about boxing, we're back on the superhero track for a few entries. Specifically, one of the most gradual transformations to ever happen on the silver screen. That's right, it's time to talk about the Wolverine in the room. Go back and watch the first X-Men film. You'll probably think to yourself, wow, Hugh Jackman is not as ripped as I remember. It's true. It took a few films for him to get into true superhero form, which makes sense when you think about it. Wolverine didn't need to be super big early on. People needed to buy into Jackman fitting the character he was already too small for anyways. It wasn't until the Wolverine Origins movies that things started to shift. Jackman got jacked, and the rest is history. Watching old episodes of Parks and Recreation will stun anyone. Chris Pratt is great as Andy Dwyer, but his slacker style is so hard to believe now. You can buy two candies. Two?! He's changed so much since he took on the role of Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy. 
To be a superhero, you need to look the part. It's one of the requirements now for any actor looking to get into that genre of film. Hence why Chris Pratt had to shed some of his baby fat and manage to wow audiences as Star-Lord. His whole getting in shape process is now famous. It's been years since the first Guardians movie came out and people still share the before and after photos on the internet. That is some serious staying power. All right, first off, Community is an underrated show. Let's get that out of the way first. So when you go back and watch old episodes, you may be shocked to see Allison Brie begin to make some appearances. For fans that watched that show back in its heyday, they never assumed that Brie would become the star of a show about women's wrestling. Turns out, everyone underestimated her. She knocked our socks off as Ruth Wilder. It takes serious commitment to get where you can take a wrestling move. You need strength, endurance, flexibility, and toughness. Nothing about playing a wrestler is easy. You still need to do the training to perform the moves. She made a believer out of all of us when she took her first hit and got back up. It's safe to say, she stunned everyone. Imagine the writer's room for the next James Bond movie after the last Austin Powers movie. It must have been total pandemonium. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. There was only one way to respond to such a great lampooning of your character. Go the exact opposite route. It was then that the world was introduced to Daniel Craig's James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. James Bond was always a ladies' man, and he was always a lean, mean fighting machine. However, his physique didn't always match his reputation. Sometimes Bond was a bit more in the dad bod category. Sorry, it's just the truth. Craig changed that perception. He fit the modern man outlook and toughened up the Bond appearance. His taste in cars and guns didn't change, though, just his fighting style and his body type. It took work for Craig to get the role requirements just right. Work that many people take for granted now, but always gets brought up in these kinds of videos, even today. Uma Thurman has always been tough. She's put up with a lot of Quentin Tarantino's shenanigans over the years and come out a more powerful woman because of it. That's not a slight on either party. All we're saying is that Thurman is given a lot of trust in his films and often goes the extra mile to succeed in them. Noel Roll proves this better than her casting as the bride in Kill Bill. For that film, Thurman needed to be a one-woman army. It's a tall order for any actor, but she delivered and then some. Thurman needed to be in the right kind of shape so she could fill the proper spots for each one of those action sets. She learned multiple fighting styles while preparing for the role. That's some serious dedication that helped ensure her success as an actor and helped turn her into an icon in fans' eyes. Guys, there's no way around this. Gerard Butler glowed up for his role in 300. Like, holy cow did that man get some serious ab work done. This is Sparta! Seriously, his role in that movie is famous now mostly because of the way he got into shape. There's no way Zack Snyder was going to have a film about the legendary Spartans of Greece without getting some ripped men to play those roles. It just wasn't going to happen. Not on his watch. Leonidas was the king of the Spartans. We're pretty sure the king needs to be the biggest and most built of all the warriors. It probably wasn't an easy process, and we'd be willing to bet he didn't eat many carbs while shooting the film. However, all that work certainly did pay off in the end. A lot of these entries are older roles that we just don't consider all that often. However, we wanted to toss some newer actors into the mix as well. Some you've already seen, but Gina Rodriguez's bulk up for Annihilation is definitely the most recent. She played the character Anya Thorinson. For those not familiar with the film, Rodriguez's character is ex-military. In other words, she is a serious fighter with all sorts of excellent survival skills. To prepare for the role, Rodriguez switched up her diet and added more weightlifting to her routine. The change-up worked, and her character fit the audience's expectations for the role. In fact, it worked so well, some people didn't even recognize her. That's when you know you got into some serious shape. Natalie Portman was tasked with learning ballet to succeed in her role from the film Black Swan. Over the course of that preparation, she dropped 20 pounds. Today, her workout and dance routine is considered one of the most grueling ever to be done for a role. She wasn't alone, though, as her co-star Mila Kunis went through some similar efforts as well. So though the effort may not be totally visible when you watch Black Swan, understand it took Portman a lot of work to get to that point, and it's work that needs to be appreciated. Jim Halpert was always kind of a geeky version of In Shape. Every fan of The Office knew that he was athletic and enjoyed sports, but nobody ever expected him to get super buff. The same could be said about the real-life person who played Jim, John Krasinski. When he was cast as John Silva in 13 Hours, no one batted an eye. Then we got set photos and promotional posters, and everyone lost their mind. John Krasinski looked like a man who'd been operating off the Fab Five's advice for three years. 
He was in shape, wearing stylish clothing, and looking like a force to be reckoned with in that movie. It was a total change, the likes of which we'll likely not see for many more years. With that, our list is complete. Did we leave out any big glow-ups you felt were worth mentioning? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support all the latest content from The Binger.